Sensei, the original solution for creating and selling online courses with WordPress is back and better than ever. The team over at Sensei has put a ton of effort into how to create courses using the block editor. So today I am here to show you my top three features of the latest version of Sensei, newly revamped, fully block-based, and easier than ever. Hey everybody, I'm Joe Casabona, and I'm here to help you build stuff online. If you like what I'm doing, I would ask you to subscribe to this channel. I put out videos regularly, and of course you can do a little Twitter follow if you'd like. But this is a paid video review, which means that Automatic has reached out to me and they wanted me to give an honest review of Sensei. I've been playing around with it for a little while and I've gotta say, I'm really impressed. When I first created my first online course, I decided to use LearnDash for a bunch of reasons because it had a lot of the features I liked. But now in 2022, it's plausible that given the option between LearnDash and Sensei, I might choose Sensei. And today I'm going to give you the top three reasons why. And hey, as a thank you, Automatic has decided to give you a 20% discount on Sensei Pro. Click the link in the description to have that coupon automatically applied. Okay, let's get into the video. So first, I just want to show you, you can go to senseilms.com or of course, click the link in the description to have that discount automatically applied. But Sensei has gone through a bit of a transformation. It's gotten a lot of great features and the support for the block editor, which is the new editor in WordPress, if you don't know, has been vastly improved. In fact, if you like using the block editor, there is no better LMS, in my opinion, than Sensei. And that's going to really be the center of my favorite features. Uh, now, if you do wanna sell with Sensei, you do need WooCommerce. This is an LMS add-on for WooCommerce and the makers of WooCommerce. But you know what? Again, as somebody who's using a different product currently, if you are using WooCommerce, again, Sensei is the LMS that you should use. It's tight integration with WooCommerce is second to none. And that's my third favorite feature. So we're, we're going to have to wait to get there. I also just wanted to cover the pricing really quick. Uh, you can get Sensei blocks. That's just the blocks like the quiz questions, the image hotspots, flashcards, and task list. I'll go over them later, but if you just want the blocks, that's $49 a year, which is great. If you want Sensei Pro, which is the WooCommerce integration with the course creation stuff uh, and the Sensei blocks, uh, that's going to be $149 and that's for one site. Or if you're going to be using, well, more than two sites, the Sensei agency package is for you. That's $349 and supports up to $20 sites. So I just wanted to go through the pricing for you there. Now let's get into my favorite features. The first one is right off the bat when you create a new course. First, I love this little overlay here. It makes sure that we have the right information. So we'll call this podcast liftoff. That's the name of my current flagship course. And we'll add some text here. Then we'll click continue. And here is my real favorite feature here. It has a few different block based layouts. I like this because it's showing you the importance of a good landing page with a course. Too many LMSs just have a simple editor where you can put some text and images, maybe a video, and then the lesson listing. But with Sensei, you have four different templates to choose from, including the course default, but also the long sales page, a video hero. We'll take a look at that. 
or a life coach. So these are the four different kinds of layouts and you can build a sales page and a landing page that works best for you. Absolutely love that. Just to give you an idea of the kind of layout that I was able to quickly create using one of the templates. Here is a fake course I created though. Maybe I'll make it. Let me know. Uh, called how to start a mini podcast. So I have some text here. I was able to swap out my picture. There's a really nice section here where I can list the topics, a bio section and the contact the teacher, which is automatically filled out. You can see I left one of the uh, templated areas here. There's a testimonial and then there's the course lessons. If I click through to one of the course lessons, you could see they have this learning mode. Now this learning focus mode, I didn't list this as one of my favorite features, but this is super nice. Um, I've seen other LMSs do this and it's just, it's a nice touch to make sure that your student is fully embedded in the learning process. They're not distracted by your template or other links or things like that. And so I created a few lessons here, all using different blocks, which again, I'll showcase later on, but I did want to show you this learning mode and this is customizable too. This isn't a full product tour, but the more I used, this is honest, the more I used Sensei, the more impressed I was. Um, I honestly didn't have anything, any knocks really against it, except for maybe that it requires WooCommerce, but that's like, most people are going to use WooCommerce anyway, and this is a, an LMS built on top of WooCommerce. And as you'll see, it's not, it's not even a hindrance. So I'm really impressed with this new version of Sensei. That's the honest truth. Um, and I'm, I'm excited to see kind of where it goes with continued development. But let's get back and I will tell you my second favorite feature which is the inline product creation. So here's the profitable podcast. That's the template we were just looking at. You can see how it looks here in the editor. This is again, completely block based and mostly this is basically the template they gave me. I added my own text, but real again, super impressive. Uh, and I guess it's worth noting that too, that I'm using the 2022 theme. It's a full site editing theme. So, I mean, say what you will about full site editing, but this gives me a really nice jump off point for, for my courses. And if I really want to focus on course content, 2022 or another block based theme with Sensei lets you get up and running really fast. So that's another really nice uh, addition or benefit of using Sensei. It's completely block based and, and pretty fast creation time. Okay, so let's get back to my second favorite feature, which is the inline WooCommerce product creation or addition. So in other LMSs that might not be as tightly integrated with WooCommerce, if you want to use WooCommerce, you have to go out and create a product in WooCommerce. But here I can create a new product right in line. So we'll call this the profitable podcast. We'll price it at $3.99. We'll add the description that I have here. And then I'll click create product. And then it's automatically associated. And now that we have a product associated with it, let's create some content for the course. Cause we can't, I don't, I don't believe that we can sell the course unless it's associated with a product and we have content. But the nice thing, uh, again, another great thing about Sensei here is that it's got a lessons block uh, and you can edit the, the blocks in line. You can also add lessons or modules. So I can add another lesson called resources. So I create that. I can save and edit the lessons. You could see that then a draft is created. But if I click on one of these lessons, and then click edit lesson. I'm taking to a new screen where I'm going to create a lesson similar to the course creation page. But the difference, and here is my third favorite feature, 
is the various lesson types. And these are all lessons based on the sensei blocks. So again, if you just want, if you don't want the LMS, but you want these blocks, you can get them for $49, right? But we can add a video lesson, a checklist, file to download, a timed quiz, a Zoom meeting. This is really great if you're doing a cohort-based course or there's a live aspect to it. So you can add the meeting information, which is super cool. Uh, the default lesson is, is plain text. Let's go ahead and add a flashcard. So I'll add a flashcard question here. And then if I click flip card, the card flips over to the back and I could say false. And then this is just text so we can bold it and things like that. So this is our flashcard, but that's just one block. We can add more blocks here. So if we click on the plus sign, we could see all of the sensei blocks or we can add regular old block editor blocks too. But there are a lot of really great blocks here. Uh, lesson actions, a task list, right? So uh, you saw that in an earlier lesson where you can create a checkable list for users to go through. I have a bunch of checklists for my actual podcasting course. So maybe I have that here, right? I have the pre pre-interview checklist or something like that. So a lot of really helpful learning uh, features here, right? Image hotspots, so I can upload an image. Um, let's just pick one I've already uploaded. And then I can add a hotspot. This is super cool, right? So we've got the headphones are important for reducing echo. Right, so we add that and then we can publish this lesson. So now that lesson has been published, if I go back to the courses, we can scroll down and now we have one lesson here. Let's create, click create. And then we have the hotspot. So I click on this, there's an overlay. And then I have the card, true or false. Your mic is the most important aspect of a podcast. Flip card, false. Then I can complete the lesson. So there you have it. My top three features of Sensei, the LMS. I'm a really big fan after trying this again. And I'll be honest, right? When I first tried it, this was five, six years ago now. Uh, it was really lacking. It started off strong, but I, I don't think it had evolved. But now with all of the renewed effort, that Automatic has put into Sensei. It's really nice. The blocks are great. The course creation process really lends itself to the block editor. I love that you can easily create WooCommerce products in line and not really have to worry about going and creating a separate WooCommerce product. It's all taken care of. So my again, my top three features are the course landing page options, which can be a regular course, or they have a few landing page or sales page templates. Number two is the inline WooCommerce product creation. So you never have to leave the course screen to create a WooCommerce product in order to sell your course. And number three, and the most significant, to be honest, is the blocks, the lesson blocks. You can create really nice dynamic content. You don't just have to upload a video, right? Which is, gen I mean, this is generally what I've done, but just having the blocks in the LMS has me thinking about how I can make my content more interactive and more dynamic. So there you go. That's it for this video. Remember, if you want 20% off Sensei Pro, click on the link in the description below. It'll automatically apply the 20% off coupon. Thanks so much to the team at Sensei for commissioning this honest review. And if you have any questions about Sensei, leave them in the comments below. But thanks so much for watching this video. And until next time, get out there and build something.